so loud. You can go outside too. With important men who think important thoughts. It's chaos over here. It is Wentworth's birthday, so this morning, picked up some donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. So, I don't know if you've seen, but Bobby Flav, or uh, I don't know his last name, Parrish, something like that. Flav City, right? He goes through and looks at items that are Bobby approved, basically healthy, keto, that kind of thing. People have different ideas of what healthy is. But anyway, he went to, I think Dunkin' Donuts, and reviewed their popular, like, I don't know, iced coffee or something. I don't even know what it's called. Peppermint mocha, something. He did it for Halloween, he did it for Christmas. By the way, hi. I don't I'm the worst, we're gonna hang out today, so I'm just gonna tell you a story because it's on my brain. He went to Dunkin' Donuts, reviewed their seasonal drink, and showed how much sugar was in it, and then he showed the equivalent of how many donuts that was, so like one drink had probably like, I don't know, 78 munchkins. And all I'm thinking is, well then it must be socially acceptable for me to be able to eat 76 munchkins. If someone's walking around with a drink like that, you know? Did I have my sour cream donut this morning? No. I bought one uh, and then Wentworth ate it, which it's his birthday, I guess. I'll let it slide. So then did I end up eating a glazed donut? Also, no, I ended up eating two. <laughs> Hashtag no regrets. You know what else? Okay, so many exciting things. What are we doing today? I need to run to Costco. I need to get a couple of things. I need to meal plan. I don't know if I'm gonna show you a haul. I need to get like canned goods for the food drive that's going on. We always like to donate food this time of year, but instead of like doing the legwork and driving there ourselves, I figured I'll take a cut and just bring it to the kids' school. We always like donate. I usually go through my pantry and see what I have that I'm not using, that I have an oversupply of, and then give it to the kids' school. And then their school like wants to meet a th certain threshold. So anyway, I'll tell more about that as we go to Costco. I, mean, I have to prep for the week ahead, Sunday reset kind of thing. I've probably got 18 loads of laundry to do. I gotta clean the car out because going through that car line, when the kids are walking out of the car, it's like crunch, crunch things are falling out. I gotta collect our water bottles. Hopefully I find some of those in the car. I don't know where the heck the water bottles go to every single day. Why do I keep wanting to motion this way? I don't know. I'm gonna tidy up the house, get things ready. But you know what came in Eleanor's advent calendar today? I'm excited. I'm excited and it's not even my advent calendar. So I bought her, I don't know if I told you guys about it, but I bought her and Avelina I got Meredith an advent calendar too, and I, well I got all the kids except for Wolfgang an advent calendar. But the girls, theirs is only 12 day, it was $20 from Target. I'm like, okay, it's better be worth it, right? So every day they're opening it, I'm like, oh, what'd you get? So some days it's like a chapstick, EOS chapstick, and that alone is like $4, it's kind of ridiculous. And then some days it's like a moisturizer, it's a beauty one. They had a couple of them and I picked the beauty one. My kids seem to be into like skincare and beauty these days. Anyway, today's selection was a liquid IV. You know I love liquid IV, but there's so many things I don't know about the brand. I really only get them from Costco because it's the best price on everything. But this one, the flavor is tart green apple. First of all, delicious, just had a taste of Eleanor's. But this one is the hydration multiplier and then it also has like probiotics in it. What? So it's powered probiotic and kombucha drink mix. They also have, which is the one I have been enjoying the most, the strawberry and then they cut it in half at Costco, the bags here. They come in a pack of 30. Half is strawberry, half is like golden cherry. But this is just the hydration multiplier. From what I understand, it's just like the hydration multiplier. But then they also have some, this is my favorite because I haven't tried them all. And so I went to Avelina and I was like, oh, maybe she got a different flavor. I've been wanting to try the watermelon flavor. Haven't had a chance to do that. And I don't want to buy like a little thing. Maybe I'll buy like the sample pack. I don't know. At one point they wanted to sponsor me many years ago before I drank it. And I was like, oh, I don't know because I don't drink it, you know? But now I'm like, Hello, will you sponsor me? Anyway, she got the tart green apple too, but they also have one with immune support. I'm not into like an orangey flavored drink, can't do it. They have other ones too. I think some with caffeine. I think the pineapple yuzu is like a caffeine drink. But for now, what the kids do for immune support is we've been buying these for years and years and years. The emergency ones. And technically, I think you have to be like 14 to drink this. I don't, but this has immune support energy and electrolytes. So if you're looking for something like this, I can't stand the smell of this or the flavor of this, so I can't do it. But all my kids and Alex, they're really into that, that but I prefer the liquid IV. It's really hard for me to find things that like I can endure the taste of. So that's why I love liquid IV because I love it so much. There's also another brand that was good too. 
I can't think of a name, but I shared it with you before. Okay, anyway, I should start like actually being productive. <laughs> because lol, get all the mess around here. Does anyone else miss the natural light in my laundry room? No, just me? <laughs> oh no, this is full. Good thing I had the wherewithal to throw this in the laundry, you guys know. It, prepping for the week ahead, there's a lot to do. Also, you have to make sure to do it. Is that baking soda like stuck to the back of my washing machine here? This is like really caked on there. Anyway, I have to make sure that all the kids, I don't want towels in here. Or maybe, is that what I'm washing? What's in here? There's school coat clothes for the week ahead. I have to make sure those are clean. And then, you know, there's just so much to do. So last Friday, Meredith had a superhero day. Don't ask me how long I spent running around the house looking for a superhero cape. I finally just gave her a towel, like one of those camping towels that are super thin and lightweight. I just tied it around her neck. And then very last second, of course, because that's how it always works out, Avelina came up to me and was like, oh, I think I have a t-shirt with a cape that like Velcros to it, you know? It was in like her donate pile. And so it wasn't at the forefront of her mind. And so thankfully that worked out really well. So I don't want her to feel left out, but also she's not into superheroes. So I didn't want to go out of my way to buy her like a superhero shirt with a kid. Like, you know, it's not that serious. It was like 30 minutes of her entire day. But Alex had a t-shirt with a superhero cape from last year when Wentworth had, or maybe two years ago when Wentworth had like superhero day at school or whatever the heck. They're, they're always doing something. And then this coming week, literally it's always something, especially when you have multiple kids in school. Oh gosh, I wanna wash this separately because I wanna make sure it stays white. Avelina has spirit week coming up. So like every day is something. And it's not just five days. No, because that's not enough to stress parents out. It's seven days. It's the whole week. And then the next week they have like two days before they, you know, go off for winter vacation. And so there's some, it's if something, is, every day is something. And it's like, how do minimalists cope? How do they do it? <laughs> they just don't engage. They just don't. This is way overloaded. I think about that a lot. Like, oh, if I was a minimalist. I, listen, I follow a bunch of people online who surprisingly have so much more than me. I'm like, how, first of all, how do they store it? And then they like show me their basement. I'm like, that's basically another house. Like, so I guess that makes sense. Anyway, I'm just trying to do my best with what I have most of the time. I've got a lot. Speaking of, Wentworth's birthday party was last night, if you're wondering like, oh, th why are you cleaning on your son's birthday? The extravaganza was yesterday. So today we are gonna do like a family dinner out to eat kind of thing. Make them feel special. But what do you guys do for your kids? If you like have a party and it's not on their birthday, on their actual day, do you like do stuff to make them feel special? Or are you just like, well, this is your celebration. <laughs> Listen, going out to eat as a family of seven basically costs as much as a birthday party, you know what I mean? Hey, I haven't tried to this in a while. I know it's one of the most riveting things you dream about at night. You're like, oh, I can't wait till she shows us that shot of her washing machine with the clear top. When it spins, I love it. And the water comes out, it's so exciting. I should actually probably wash this. It's kind of dirty. Ever feel like your entire house is a mess even though you like spent the past two days seemingly doing nothing but cleaning like little things like this where like the door is just dirty and then kids with markers who shouldn't be having markers aka wolfgang he doesn't know better he's learning give him a break i got laundry for days oh eleanor is telling me one of her friends is coming over the house is in shambles don't let her see that we live here even though she's only 10 and she won't care I feel like the dining room is one of the first places that people see when they come in and I have some crap in here. This is my fault because one, I have a Thrive Market order right there, hashtag non-spons. And I have stuff because yesterday, oh, I didn't show you. I showed you on Instagram. If you follow me there, you saw it. I switched out the photos and our frames up here. Oh, wow. What day is it? I'm totally on top of things. I feel like last year, oh my gosh, what did I just step on? Little pieces of crap. Last year, I don't think I changed those things out until September, August, late August, fall, basically fall. So th those haven't even been up that long, but I'm like, we gotta get things moving along. Oh, and then 
I took Avelina the other night on like a girls night out kind of thing to celebrate her birthday, which is coming up. Take her out to eat, we brought her to the mall. She's been wanting new shoes, so I didn't wanna like get them offline for Christmas for her because like what if they don't fit right? So anyway, I wanted her to try them on. But our first stop was to the thrift store and uh, you know how I can't contain myself in the thrift store. I might share, I did get a Christmas dress. I found a Lulu Lamone item and that's all I got for myself. Everything else, I found like more Christmas gifts for other people and like check, check it. Brand new, like what? I like, I lied like a rug. I did get something else for myself. I guess I'll show you in like a, what I got myself for Christmas for y'all. All right, exciting. All right, I gotta put this in my room. <laughs> I guess now I have to see if this is full. My dreams came true when I... Might as well throw some of this in. Oh no, what happened in here? Looks like someone spilled some chocolate milk in here. These definitely are not essential oils. Mm. The worst part about that is that we don't even have chocolate milk. Okay, but I am gonna throw a Christmas scent in here because ugh, we only have so many days until Christmas. This is the Polynesian Christmas scent. I'm almost out of it. It's a sad time. This is falling off. Just don't worry about that. It smells really nice. This is from the Magic Candle Company. As you can see, I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> this I just ran out of, but it is Christmas time, I think that says. I don't know, I can't read it. This is my favorite like non-holiday scent. Also Haunted is fantastic. Pirate Ship is really good. Let me see, I really enjoyed Hocus Pocus during the fall months. Ooh, Pumpkin King was also a fave. All right, I think those are my top ones. Yesterday, I did a lot of prep work and probably printed way too many soup recipes. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I don't know if you can tell, but look at all that steam. I put, always put warm water in there, and that's when I find that the most, uh, what, do you, what do I call that? Steam? <laughs> water? Diffuse? It, lo it, it diffuses the most. Okay, bye. I'm trying to give you a nice view while I like, make my grocery list, but I don't know if this is gonna work. Instead, you get to look at my dirty kitchen. So I printed out I'm gonna have to count, 13 soup recipes. Some of them are from Macro Friendly Foods, which they have, she has a, um, a soup PDF. I think there's 20 soup recipes on there. I just printed out three, like my top three that I thought would be awesome. And then I printed out a ton from Pinterest. So I'm gonna go sift through these, pick out my top five. I don't know if I can narrow it down to five. I'll try my best and then make a grocery list so while I'm out I can like pick things up to do it. Soup is just so simple and it's soup season. Even though in the morning in Florida it might be 45 degrees, but once the sun comes out, it's like 90. Not really. It's been like 80, which is still nice. For us, that is soup season. I know for some people it's snowing and for me it's the perfect time to throw like these soups together because like today, the high, I don't think it reaches 70. What a dream that is in Florida because it's very rare and few and far between. So I'm just trying to soak up these like more cool days, the more chilly days because it doesn't happen often. It's my favorite weather. And I, I know people are like, oh, it's because, you know, it's rare and you don't have to deal with the snow and all, everything that comes with it. I understand. I get that. But also sweating while you're just walking to the mailbox or literally opening the front door, the humidity, the heat, oh my gosh. It happens for us 98% of the year. So I'm really enjoying the times where I'm not sweating <laughs> every single day, all day long. So it was a pleasure to search for these soup recipes and kind of cultivate a week of soup dinners. And you know me, I try to find different kind of recipes. I found like a jalapeno popper soup, which I've never heard of or seen anyone make before. I found a really sweet, um, well, sweet, hey, see what I did there, dessert soup. <laughs> so we'll see how that comes out. I'm excited to try them. And then of course the classics, the chicken noodle, you gotta have that. It's a staple and just learning how to make it. Just anything that you make from scratch at home, it tastes a hundred times better than anything you buy at the store. I say that. But then when I eat something from the store, I'm like, wow, this tastes so good. Part of that is because you didn't have to do the mental work and the physical labor to make it yourself. So I don't know, pros and cons, no cleanup when you go out to eat too. So um, that's nice. But also I feel like 
if I go out to eat and I spend, you know, $10, $15 on a meal, that's not even including tip or whatever, you know what I mean? Just for me, which I never do anyway, but I'm just saying like individualize if you break it down, like I can make soup for five people, seven people with 10 bucks. I mean, depending on what soup, I feel like it'll be 10 bucks, 10, 15 bucks. I don't know, but you get what I'm trying to say. And then, you know, sometimes I'm like, I can make this better at home, you know? So I don't, for me, it's the price too. And just the flavor, just everything's better when you make it on your own. And especially when you can find good recipes on Pinterest and obviously macro-friendly foods, shout out to them. I just love them so much. I do have a discount code, 10% off if you use the code the wads. She has soup PDFs. She's got a recipe book. Obviously, there's like 800 recipes on the website right now. She adds like 15, 10 to 15 every month. So that's what I love about it. It gives me great meal inspiration. So that's what I'm doing, making my grocery list based off of all of that. And yay for soups. All right, pretty simple. Here is the weekly meal plan. And I'm looking at this. I added white lasagna soup. I think it has chicken in it. Oh my gosh, does it not have any meat? Okay, it has chicken. Macro Friendly Foods has a version two, but I don't know, I guess I just didn't print it out, overlooked it. Spending too much time on Pinterest. Okay, so pretty basic, pretty simple. And what I love about soup is that they're quick and easy to put together. So taco soup, chicken curry soup, loaded baked potato soup, white lasagna soup, Italian sausage, white bean soup, homemade chicken noodle soup, and then I have to include a dessert. This is the only dessert soup that I found. Milk chocolate soup with cake croutons. Can't wait to try that. Um, essentially, I feel like it's gonna be like a really thin pudding. That's my guess, I don't know. And then I threw my grocery list together. It doesn't look very extensive because a lot of things for these recipes, like I have on hand just always and i didn't put things for lunches on here because i'll just go through the store and like instinctively get those also fruits and vegetables i'll just grab some of those too so what your car doesn't look like this actually you should have seen it this morning and i don't actually i don't even know if you can see the destruction on the floor there's goldfish everywhere actually they're not goldfish they are the yogurt bites that went wolfgang really likes water bottles everywhere but not the ones that i'm looking for we got fun dip because that's us this morning i came through and i usually come through with two bags one a garbage bag it's right over there i'm trying to hide it from you uh, because this was just full actually there were books all over the floor because i bought a bunch of books for christmas can you hear me it's very windy i bought a bunch of books for christmas and some of them were duplicates or stuff that I wasn't interested in, you know, because at the thrift store, I get five books for like $2. How can I say no? I don't want all five, but I might want three or two or four, whatever. So that was the excess. I wanted to bring it to the kids' school and found a water bottle. And they have like a free library kind of thing. You know, you've seen them at parks and stuff. So the school has one, which is nice. Anyway, I normally bring, I mean, who drank this water? Will I get sick? TBD, bottom up. You gotta hydrate. Pure fast this all. Anyway, one bag, but in this case I had three because one for the books, one bag for garbage, one bag for the stuff that you bring inside of the house. And my kids have been using these water bottles at school because, some of them anyway, because I can't find the other ones. I'm like, are they in the lost and found? At this point, I am refusing to buy new water bottles because first of all, they're so expensive. I literally spend hundreds of dollars on water bottles for them. Our names are on them, so I know they're somewhere. Maybe in the garage, maybe in the cars, maybe tucked away in the playroom. Like, I have no idea. I find them. I feel like I find them eventually. It's just the process of constantly looking for them. And I feel like we've got a pretty good system going on. Another water bottle where when the kids get home from school, they empty their lunch box. Boxes. They put their lunch boxes away. Sometimes their water bottles either stay in their backpack or a lot of times they leave them like out by their classrooms when they're in recess or when they're doing after school sports. They'll like accidentally leave them there. So I get it. Like sometimes they get stuck behind. What is this? Artwork. Do I need to keep it? <laughs> Probably. I used to clean my car once a week. Like when I'm on top of things, when I have my life together, I feel like that happens. Nowadays, it's more like <laughs> never. <laughs> I'm doing my best 
I do it when it gets out of control, I feel like, which is probably not the best scenario, but that's what happens. Also, brushes galore. Whenever someone can't find a brush in the house, I'm like, go look in the van. <laughs> oh, look, another one. Also, a hairball. Occasionally, I'd say like once every other month is when I pull out the wet dry vac and like vacuum in here. This is pretty bad right now. But honestly, the back seat isn't too shabby. We've got some toys. We've got some stuff. Like, if you're looking at this, just me thinking oh that's horrible well this isn't the worst of it I've seen way worse I'm actually not worried about any of this oh lollipop on the ground no big deal <laughs> at least it wasn't on the fabric you feel me a singleton shoe where's the other one a sock crammed in here yep also the car seats we are needing to wash like where did this even come from right now we're washing Meredith's and I need to wash the baby seat too like th this is so gross because Wolfgang despises the car he always has most of my kids have never enjoyed the car and so we just you know throw snacks at him <laughs> to keep him calm and so essentially this is the aftermath of that so i might just go get the wet dry vac i don't know if it'll get these because they're kind of like stuck in all the grooves and kind of squishy and i don't know kind of gross oh sunglasses put those there but like i don't know does your car get disgusting like this or don't tell me just let me live in my squalor <laughs> If you think the inside is bad, you should actually see what the outside looks like. I went, oh man, we bought that dumb baby bottle pop for the birthday boy because it's your birthday and I, why not, you know? Why not? Why not? Take a crazy chance. Here's why not, because it gets everywhere and it is literal pure sugar. Another brush. Also happy to report, another water bottle. Yes. Yes, I'm always so excited when I find the water bottles. This morning, every child of mine went to school with yes let's say it together a lunchbox <laughs> what did you think that was gonna say a water bottle no okay anyway i wasn't sure if that was a bug or a boiled peanut i didn't want to risk it and touch it i don't like bugs i don't like touching them even if it's a dead bug no thank you so i was gonna wait to suck it up with the vacuum in a second you'll see me like dabble with that card and, and try to decide should i touch this it was so dark as i was cleaning this the camera makes it look like there was light down there. It's the bottomless pit. I don't know what they were thinking when they created that. Oh, and then the slide seat. Can't forget about that. Shoving stuff under seats. That happens. We basically live in our car. We spend so much time in here carting the kids back and forth to all the things. So messes happen. Yes. Yeah, it's it just it is. OK, <laughs> it's the season of life that I'm in. Won't always be like this. The big kids are obviously much better about keeping it tidy than the little kids and then it's just life happens and we are doing our best so while I was cleaning the car I know I remembered like I saw this one person on Instagram it's a woman that I follow and she was decorating her car for Christmas yeah she was decorating her car for Christmas and it did looks nothing like mine she had like festive everything okay festive tissues which I can't even keep my my car stocked with tissues she she had festive, um, what was it, a car charger that looked like lights? Like what, like Christmas lights? Okay, and then she had like a hanging, must have been an ornament on her rear view mirror. And then she had like the Bath and Body Works, um, what was it, like the car scent, but it was obviously Christmas themed and festive. And I'm just not at that level. A part of me wanted to just add everything to cart. And then I was like, I can't even keep my car clean. Why am I trying to decorate it? Like, I don't deserve this. I can't even keep my car clean, you know? It's, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm very realistic about some things where I can see it and appreciate it, but also look at it and realize, yep, yeah, not there yet. You know, maybe one day, but not right now. And some things I'm capable of and I can execute and other things like this, where like all the tiny details and all it would just it'd be like decorating a dumpster essentially and I feel like in those times I can step back objectively and decide that's not it for me right now <laughs> you know because <laughs> it just wouldn't be right a part of me wants to do it all but then a part of me is looking at my cup holders like this and thinking yeah no not not yet <laughs> Well, I don't even know what all that is. This is where the kids step over to get to the back seat. There's actually a seat that we can put in the middle here, but we hardly ever have it in. 
unless we're carting around extra kids, like one extra kid, obviously. And so that's just like the dirt from all their feet stepping back and forth. Like, what is that? The before and after. And it's not even that great afterwards. I watch these car detailers and they get in there with all the nooks and crannies, the grooves. And here I am, like literally doing the bare minimum, cleaning it up. I, I didn't, I could have gone in my garage and sifted around and tried to look for the attachment to, to this hose, the attachments for this hose, where it has that one nozzle where you can really get into the crevices but I didn't even do that. I was like, listen, bare minimum, it, anything I do is better than it looked before. And I probably spent way longer on this than you think I did. Probably at least 30 minutes, I wanna say that. Obviously I was right. kind of one-handed cause I was holding the baby with one hand and doing my best to occupy him. And if you saw his little hand helping me with the hose and stuff, he's such a great little helper. But you know, things like this under her car seat. This is where her car seat goes, where I was washing the like inside of it and just stuff just falls under there. It's under the abyss. So it's moments like these where I'm thinking, OK, I need to just dedicate. Maybe it even was an hour, probably start to finish. It was an hour. Vacuuming alone was just in 30 minutes or so. But um, in my head, I just have to fix it into my schedule like okay I need to do this once a week so it doesn't get this bad so we're not living in chaos and filth and garbage but I also watch a lot of other people on YouTube I I look at the not just YouTube but Instagram too I look at the span of like yes the woman across the room yes she has kids but they're older and she's able to put decorations in her car and then I also watch the people who are like look at the 17 gummy wrappers that I found in my car when I was cleaning it this past week so I see a range and I'm just sharing with you my reality and maybe you can relate to it and maybe you can't okay but that's that's the beauty of being our own people and having our own lives. Some of you will relate and be like, oh yeah, my car looks like that or my car looks better or my car looks worse and that's the range. And isn't it lovely? It Well, it, it could be more lovely if my car was clean <laughs> all the time. And I do my best at stoplights and stuff, but honestly, I feel like I drive Alex's car around more than this one. So, because I always try like at stoplights to wipe it down, especially the steering wheel. That's the part, that's probably the cleanest part of this car because I just wiped down the steering wheel wheel real quick. But anyway, here are the sunglasses too. I love the little magnet. Awesome. I just got the baby to sleep before I leave to go to Costco to get stuff for lunches and breakfast and snacks and like dinner and stuff, grocery shopping. But it won't be like a huge haul. I say that. I really just, the focus is the food drive and then I need toilet paper and stuff. I want to, I'm switching the laundry over and then I'm gonna throw a third load in. Dirty. It's clean now, I have to dry it. Here, you wanna help me? Yeah. Here, you can put that in oh, there. Oh, heavy. I know, here you go. Oh, a sock out. Oh my gosh, you're the best big helper. My favorite load, the towels. If I wasn't leaving right away, I'd try to fold that, like as I took it out, but I am leaving right away and I don't wanna spend some time like running around the house trying to get everyone's baskets, slash unloading some of their baskets, which most of them look pretty good. Uh, Wolfgang's does not, and that falls on me, so. All right, let's roll. We're at Costco, just all of us gals. I forgot my grocery list at home, so that's really cool. <laughs> Apparently now the strawberries are just out with all the other mm. fruit. They smell really good. Whatever GMO stuff is happening, they're doing a great job. I haven't done a Costco shop with me in a while, but this is something I've never seen before, I think ever, or maybe I just I never noticed. I don't know. Flan, you people, for $13, check it. That's pretty wild. The samples over at Costco are popping. This is, I don't really know, empanada with some salsa. Empanada, what do you have over here? Apple bread pudding. Apple bread pudding and then all the crackers with some kind of cheese. What kind of cheese was on it? I like All right, good news, bad news. Good news, they have Prime for a sample. And also OJ, how's that OJ? <laughs> pretty much sums it up. Also the bread pudding, pretty sure there was a nut in there. I didn't swallow it. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. I don't like Prime. I don't know why it's so uh, popular. I don't see muscle milk anywhere. You guys, keep your eyes peeled. Alex has been drinking muscle milk. I don't usually come down the drink aisles. I don't know, if the taste ling lingers. I need something else to wash it away. <laughs> uh, some more this really truffle oil me. and pasta. This is a lentil sample for me. 
Lentils? Me? Somebody, get me a bowl. Hey, has anyone realized the price of beans have gone up? $9, I guess, for eight cans. I feel like that's not even a good deal. I mean, they're organic, so I guess so. Kind of. On sale, I normally get them for at least a dollar. Like, what is this? But they're nicely packaged and they're easy for when we're going to donate them. Don't talk to me about corn. $11 for 12 cans of corn. All right, I don't know what we're gonna donate. I'm gonna grab some of these. Puts me at ease. So many of my Costco clips didn't upload, so that's a shame. All right, I'm home. Football zone. I'm gonna switch the laundry over and then I'll show you everything that I got from Costco. Now, I didn't get as much to donate as we normally do. So, because I kept thinking, oh, it's for the kids' school drive and how are they gonna carry it to their classrooms and I don't know. So, it's still a lot. So, I'll show you that in a second. Are you gonna stand up? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> You're watching in real time how the avalanches are formed. <laughs> you think it's funny? <laughs> so, the hall is behind me. Uh, this is the donate stuff. Our stuff we bought for our house is in the back, but I did want to mention their school is putting, they do it every year, and um, it's like feeding Tampa Bay. It's like, hey, bring, but they always try to have a goal to reach for their classrooms, and whichever classroom donates the largest, not the largest, but the most weight, because that's the, what they go by, they get something special. I forgot what it is, I don't know. I don't think any of my kids have ever been in a classroom where they have donated the most. It's like an ice cream party or something special like that. So this year, they're trying to reach their goal of donating more meals than Taylor Swift. And I think the number is like 150,000 meals that she donated when she had her concert here. That's what she donated to the city of Tampa, hold on. 250,000 Avelina told me that's so many meals Taylor Swift donated. And then what do you guys get when, like whichever classroom donates the most? Whichever classroom donates the most, it just depends. They either get like a pizza party, a cookie party, ice cream party. Pizza party, cookie party, mm -hmm. ice cream party. Something like that. Something like that to celebrate. So we always do what we can to add to that pile and it'll be the same this year. And it is like a logistics thing where you're like, okay, well, how much can they actually carry into their classrooms, you know? So, okay, starting over here is the stuff that I'll be prepping for their lunches tomorrow and stuff. I didn't get to go to public, so I don't have all the produce and vegetables that I'm needing for the meal plan because I just as I was checking out of Costco, which by the way, Costco was an absolute madhouse. Oh my gosh, I don't, and I'm reminded why I can't even speak because just, I'm triggered by it. I'm reminded, I still can't speak, why I can't go there on the weekends. Can't or won't, it doesn't matter. I don't wanna do it, no I don't. We almost got ran over in the parking lot. Like, d seriously? You guys know how I feel about the Costco parking lot. The worst parking lots ever. Worse than Trader Joe's, worse. Because it's 20 times larger. <laughs> It was mass chaos there. I don't know. So I did what I could at Costco and oh, um, Eleanor's friend was coming over. So I was like, oh, well, I don't have time to also go to Publix. So anyway, let me show you what we got. Short story long here. All right. So strawberries, I'm going to try to prep some of these. These were wafting through the air. It's like, oh, those smell so good. I haven't smelled strawberries that good in a long time. And it's definitely not even close to strawberry season. So I don't, well, I guess it's close a couple months away. Okay. Blueberries also got these. We've been digging into this stuff, all kinds of stuff. My kids already dug into a dragon fruit. Have you ever had one of these? My kids recently discovered that they love them because I say recently, I don't buy them all the time because they are expensive. Normally they're like $5 a piece. It's insane. This three of them was like $7.99. So I was like, okay, girls, go ahead. So all my kids have been chomping at that. And then I grabbed some Greek yogurt for some dinners. The chocolate crepes, croissants. They're not croissants, they're just crepes. They're good for all the kids. Bananas. I got these for Wentworth. He really likes them, the yogurt smoothie melts. I got chicken sausage over there for some breakfast all prep. I got these potatoes. These are the Yukon gold potatoes, but then I also got russet potatoes for the soup. I think that'll give it a nice white color. These are obviously more golden. And then I grabbed some bone-in chicken thighs. I don't have any of those. Cantaloupe, 
ham for Christmas. We were told to bring a ham. And then I needed onions. I'm all out of onions. I also grabbed some vinegar, a pineapple to dice up, some celery sticks, obviously, for the soups. And now I'm thinking I should have got the bag of carrots, too. But oh, well. I also got some champagne mangoes. We're running low on toilet paper, so I grabbed some of that. Same for my bacon. I think we're out of it. If we're not out, we are low. And then I grabbed these for Alex. He's been liking protein shakes in the morning. So these were a deal. I don't know if it's the best deal. Before he had like muscle milk, I think it was what it was called. So we'll see how he likes those. It's the first time he's had them. So for the canned goods, I got uh, some corn and some beans. So I got two canned, not two cans, two boxes of the canned beans. I also thought maybe applesauce would be a good thing to donate. Sometimes, I don't know, especially people who donate specifically for the holiday season, they'll do like mashed potatoes and I don't know, cranberry sauce or something, but that's not something that you eat all year long, or at least we don't. So I thought applesauce would be a good option to have. And then also diced tomatoes. Peanut butter is also a great one. That's one that's on the list because um, you can go to like their website and they'll have a list of foods that they are running low on or foods that they would prefer you to donate. So peanut butter was on that list. Also Madra's lentils were there and I thought that would be a great, it's like a meal in and of itself. It's fantastic, it tastes good. Everyone loves a good madras, right? So that's just kidding, not the haul as a whole. I also got some half and half in here, heavy cream. And then I grabbed four containers of conditioner because we are completely out. I don't know how that happens. We still have like three shampoos, no conditioner. And then I'm gonna try to ration these out to Avelina and my children. It's like zero nutrition. I don't know, why do teenagers love this so much? I'll never know. I mean, I kind of know because I liked ramen noodle too, but I don't think not as much as they did. All right, I'm gonna put all this stuff away. I'm gonna actually try to put the cans in like big bags, uh, like home goods bags kind of thing, so the kids can bring them to class in the morning. And then uh, prep some produce before we head out for Wentworth's birthday party dinner later tonight. I think he decided on Cracker Barrel. Why do my little kids love Cracker Barrel so much? I asked, we were down by the sand. I have like sand all over me. I asked him, why do you guys like Cracker Barrel so much? Oh, because it's a restaurant and a store. And I was like, I knew it. I like it too. I can't blame you. Okay, so I was saying my Costco clips didn't all upload and it's such a pain for my phone. If I don't plug my phone in the second I get home from a shop with me, I like lose I, so much and it, whew, I'm taking a deep breath because I'm triggered by that a little bit. It is so time consuming to try to find the clips and then try to upload them in a manner to a position where I can like Amazon photos or even just emailing them to me or airdrop. It takes literal hours, like half of my day, not exaggerating. But anyway, so I didn't upload them last night when we got home. So shame on me for not doing that. But I did lose some of my Costco clips. So I'll explain to you the cup of noodle happened because Avelina, she always asks for ramen noodle. She's a teenager and uh, ramen noodle, cup of noodle, whatever. And I always say, no, 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 no. Sometimes I'll like last year, I got her a small pack for her birthday and she like just finished it or wait was anyway. I told her if she made up an awesome poem about ramen noodle that she can get it. And she ended up busting out her her best riddles for this ramen <laughs> in Costco. So I said, put it in the cart. We made it to the barrel, the cracker barrel. The best place on earth. I always forget about the pies. What are they, 13 bucks for a pie? It's crazy. And I always forget, this is such a great place to come for a gift, like that Scooby-Doo long sleeve hoodie, whatever this is, Harry Potter. If you know someone who's into peacocks, Cracker Barrel's got you covered. <laughs> As if that wasn't enough, there's more peacock items over here. I'm aware that I'm rare. I'm looking for a sweater. Oh my goodness, Sonic! <gasps> Look at all the cast iron. <gasps> Wait a second. I found one of these at Home Goods. That's, this is the, I think this is the brand I got my, uh, one of my friends. That's pretty cool. They have a lot. I've never noticed that before. You know, I've never had a homestead before, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then the toys. This is the reason why my kids love coming here. They're endless toys. Sometimes they have really rare ones. This is where we got the Peppa Pig house. Oh my word, check it. Country wisdom and lore. I heard that <laughs> oh my gosh i love this all the chicken stuff too very cool i mean cool or like what is that i don't even know a garbage can oh my goodness it's a planter 
uh, you know what? I do have someone to buy for, and I feel like she might enjoy that. Let me see. Let me see. Cool chickens. Only the coolest here. It is pouring down rain outside. We came at just the right time. Look at this bag. Oh, I might not be able to resist this bag. I love you. A bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. Candles, of course. Oh my gosh. Pokemon. They also have really, really cool books. I'm just in the, the mood of giving and gifting. They also have some really great quilts down here. So I'm gonna look at the quilts back there. But then owls, oh, I love owls. Watch that staircase documentary where it could have been an owl. Is that a cat? Oh my goodness, so dang cute. I thought it was an owl on the back, but it's not, it's a cat. I give you the world. All right, moving on. Oh, more chicken stuff. Chickens and I like that hat. What, a rubber chicken? Pen, pen. Oh, cool, magic eight ball, shake it. Mom, mom, mom. Oh, cute, those are really cute necklaces. <gasps> That's a really cute hat. Oh my God, we need this. Isn't that funny? Of course it squeaks, of course it squeaks. That's funny. All right, bunch of knickknacks and tchotchkes over here. Here are the quilts, and they're actually pretty reasonably priced for a quilt. I don't know, this one I'm kind of digging. They have a ton of clothes too, which I'm always so interested in, but I feel like they're pretty pricey. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I know, everyone's drawn to that pen. It's cool, right? <laughs> Look, they even have these socks, lounge socks. Oh, and it comes with a pumice. Check it, there's a ton of stocking stuffers. And I got this one year. Alex got it to me. Syrup is great. The pancake mix is great. The fried apples and apple crisp. Oh my gosh, the kits are so fantastic. Wolfgang is wanting to explore too. Ooh, the perfect man. Kitchen's closed, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Meredith just picked up that pen, so all my children. Look at this, I found a notebook, it says chicken scratch. How funny is that? Yeah, it's awesome. And this sweater, oh my heck. Adorable, is this a fox? Hey, funny story. Uh, remember last January where I went to Costco, not Costco, Cracker Barrel, and I got food poisoning? Well, ever since then, this is my meatloaf, by the way. Does that look cooked to you? That's Eleanor ordering a spritzer. It's an inside joke. I had just added in. Anyway, did that meatloaf look cooked to you? Because, spoiler alert, it wasn't. I could cry. I put it in my mouth. And I, at first, I was like, you know what? I Am I just being... Um, what's that word, like paranoid, because I've gotten food poisoning from here before, and maybe I'm just in my head, maybe I think everything's going to be bad, so I ate a little bit of it, swallowed it, and I was like, okay, you know, everything's fine, and then I took another bite, started eating it, and I couldn't, I couldn't, I spit it out in my napkin, I never spit food out, I never like complain when I'm at a restaurant and I didn't, I like, we went our whole dinner. I obviously ordered sides. I had a side salad. I ordered like mashed potatoes for the baby. So we were nibbling on that. And I also had green beans. So I ate those. But anyway, I ate, I ate is what I'm trying to say. I didn't go hungry. Everyone else was enjoying their meal, eating their food. And I was, was like, okay, I'm going to wait till the end when everyone leaves. Like, I don't want to complain in front of my kids and be that person. So I was just going to pull the waiter aside and be like, hey, I wouldn't serve this to anyone else. It's definitely undercooked, dude. And so <laughs> I t we told him, Alex, and I told him. And just crazy. What? How can you How can you be a restaurant and serve undercooked food? How does that even happen? Not just once, but like, Okay, I say this. I'm pretty sure the la the first time I got food poisoning from Cracker Barrel was because it was overcooked or just sitting under the heat lamps for way too long. I don't know the science behind it. I don't know. It definitely wasn't good when I was eating it. And I had, if you're wondering, I had the grandma sampler the first time. Is that what it's called? The breakfast? It's like grandma's breakfast or something. And so it has like all this other stuff. It comes with like 17 things, right? Not really, but I'm being dramatic. But when I ate the sausage patty, I was like, there's something weird about that. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't eat the rest of it. All it took was one bite. Fortunately, I feel like my ritual, probiotic, prebiotic, postbiotic, symbiotic, <laughs> biotics are working hard because so far, so good. I'm fine. Fingers crossed. I read on Google that I could take up to five days for someone. But usually with me, if it's a stomach thing, like I digest food pretty quickly so within like the first 12 hours is when it hits me and really sometimes sooner than that. So fingers crossed, I'm fine. But I swear if I get it again, my kids love it. So I know we'll go back. 
The only thing I'll eat there is biscuits, is all I'm saying. And maybe pancakes. I just can't even believe. How can this happen again? I don't know. But anyway, even with going out to eat, I still had a kitchen to clean up (laughs) at the end of the day because I had been neglecting it all day. And I think Alex did dishes earlier and he loaded the dishwasher and then the girls helped him unload it. And so I was just going through and unloading that load and putting more in. And I ran it with all the water bottles. So this morning we had some. So nice clean kitchen. Got home from Cracker Barrel. The kids are tidying up their rooms and getting ready for tomorrow showers and bedtime routine and all that good stuff. Even though I say bedtime routine, Aubrey was like, is it too late to shower? I'm like, it's 6.30. <laughs> it feels really late. I just got the baby down uh, for bed. And surprise, surprise, I am throwing another load in. And then I'm also, I think I'm just gonna throw a podcast on. I don't know, I have the baby monitor on and sometimes it lets me play two things at once and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to sort all the laundry in here and before I go to bed, Alex or I will switch it over so that will be dry in the morning. This load I'm throwing in is, I think Eleanor's. Should be good to go. There's a football game on right now. I have so many things, random things in my pockets. It's a good game. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Has anyone seen that? Uh, It's like a meme that's going around, I guess. Okay, so I am going through. I don't know how many loads I did this day, but it definitely wasn't enough because Avelina woke up the next morning. She has a soccer game. To, see, this is what I mean. Like, it's never enough. It's never good enough. That's how I feel anyway. It's I anything I do. It's just never enough. Never enough. You get what I'm trying to say. Listen. She woke up this morning. I said, you have a soccer game today. Like, do you have everything you need? She couldn't find her shin guard. She like only had one shin guard. I was like, what is happening? Where are your cleats? Like, where's your uniform? Oh, uniform is dirty. Needs to be washed. No worries. I'll bring it to you at drop off when we get the other kids and I'll drop this off for you. So you have all your crap. Okay. Oh, it was in the dirty laundry. Did I even say that? (laughs) I had to, I have to wash it. I feel like I said that, but also in my head, I say things that I don't actually say out loud. Sometimes I feel like, cause when I'm talking to you, I feel like my mouth moves fat. My brain moves faster than my mouth. Anyway. So there's that. I was like, Oh, I didn't do her laundry yesterday. I tried to get everyone else's done. And I don't even know if I did Meredith's. I just made sure she had a pink shirt. So I feel like I was doing laundry all day intermittently I still didn't get it all done. Didn't get enough done that needed to be done. So I'm doing my best. And some people are like, oh, one load a day keeps the chaos away. Remember when I was doing that? One load a day? No? Yeah, me neither. It never happened. (laughs) I never did one load a day. I do my best. Sometimes I do two loads a day. Sometimes I do zero loads. Sometimes I do seven. So I just do it when I can. And that's where I'm at in my life right now. I don't have a stable routine. When I do, I feel like, I do my best, even then, where I'm on days where I feel like, man, I got this down, you know, I got it. And then, you know, a few days pass and things pop up and happen. I'm like, oh, well, there's that, (laughs) you know. But um, anyway, the kids are coming in, they're grabbing their things and helping me put things away, the towels and such. So there's that. But I hope I could give you some motivation to get some stuff done around the house today while I share with you my weekly reset. I did my best. Nothing is perfect. I'm walking around my house this morning. and I'm like, wow, still everything is a mess because it's just ongoing, the daily monotonous tasks. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. Bon voyage. Here's my clean laundry room, kind of, not really. Bye.